so many masks in my car. It's ridiculous. <laughs> This is Noah's, so we'll save that one. Hey y'all, happy Friday. So as you can see, I just went through the car wash. I typically will vacuum my car out, but I'm really not feeling that today. So I just took the trash out, <laughs> uh, mainly just mask, but I had a couple other like stuff, things in here that I need to throw away too. So yeah, I am getting ready to run some errands. I have to go find the kids something for picture day. I'm sorry my head is like cut off. I guess that's a little better. But the kids have picture day. Initially they were supposed to have it um, this week. Like one of them was supposed to have it today and the other was supposed to have it on yesterday. But then they told me they could do sibling pictures. So that's going to be on Monday. And I had something picked out for them to wear separately, but I don't think, I feel like it would clash in a picture of them together. So I need to find something that they both can wear. And um, I mean, they have clothes, but honestly they wear mainly like t-shirts and stuff. So I wanted to get them something a little bit cuter because they haven't taken pictures together, especially in a while. So I wanna try to see if I can find, you know, something that coordinates well. So I'm gonna go do that. I also want to pick up a new tree topper for my Christmas tree because I'll be putting it up uh, the day after Thanksgiving. So I want to find that hopefully. If I don't find it today, it's no big deal, but um, I definitely have to go find them something to wear. So I'll try to take y'all in some stores with me if I can. Shopping trip was a success for the kids and now I am off to see if I can find um, a Christmas tree topper and a couple ornaments. These are really pretty. I don't need them though. So home goods was a fail for what I was looking for, but I did buy some mugs that I'll show y'all when I get home. But I'm hungry now, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get something to eat because I don't have anything at home. I'm gonna buy something, probably Chipotle, and then I'm gonna go home because I'm ready to go home. <laughs> so I'll, when I get home, I'll show you guys everything I picked up. bakery open near me and I stopped by there got some cookies don't worry guys these are not all for me <laughs> uh, but they came in a four pack so I gotta figure out which one I'm gonna try so I decided to try this one I'm probably not gonna eat the whole thing because it looks pretty big so I'm probably just gonna cut this in half and eat half of it um but yeah it looks delish I'm done eating my lunch hopefully my camera is not too crooked <laughs> If it is, y'all, please excuse. But I wanted to just show y'all what I picked up. Um, so first up is Home Goods. And the only thing I picked up from there are these glasses. These are the double wall mugs. Actually, I think they're plastic now that I look at them. I don't know. I'm not sure if these are plastic, like a hard plastic, or if they're glass. But if they are plastic, that'll explain why they were not that expensive. <laughs> They were $12.99. I mean, it says they're glass. So it says individually mouth blown by expert artisans. 
These cups feature two walls of borosilicate glass. I don't know. So I don't know what that means. I mean, they sound like glass, but I guess I've just never held one of these in my hand, like one of the double wall uh, mugs, but I really like them. Nonetheless, whether they're glass or not, they look really nice and they were $12.99 for the pair. So I'm gonna wash these and I can use my, um, use those to drink my lattes out of. And then, um, so next up is, well, I guess I'll show y'all what I decided to get them for pictures. Since that was my reason for the trip, mainly. So, I ended up finding this button down for Noah. And, oh no, I am an idiot. This is the wrong size. I'm gonna have to take it back. Ugh. So I had two of these in my hand. One of them I have for Noah, one I have for Chloe. This is actually a girl's one for Chloe that I ended up keeping that I didn't mean to keep. So I cannot believe I did that. So I gotta go back. Luckily it's down the street from my house. So I'll probably just go back probably tonight and just to get out of the way. But anyway, you can get the gist of it. I bought a denim shirt for Noah. And for Chloe, I ended up finding this denim dress. So initially when I saw these, they had one for boys and one for girls. I picked up one for her and one for him. And then um, the one for her, I was gonna try to find some pants to go with it, but she prefers dresses. So when I saw this, I felt like this would be a better option because it's still like long sleeve and she shouldn't be cold with this on. It's not like she's outside that much. And if it is cold that day, I mean, cold for us is really not that cold. So lately this week has been cold in the mornings, but then by the time like she would go outside at school, it would probably be like 75 and up at that point. So I think she should be fine. So that's disappointing that I did that, but that's me, like no surprise. Uh, I picked up some other stuff from Gap too. Um, and these were the outlets, so it was Gap Factory. So I got some good prices, y'all. That These two were the most expensive things. Um, and I think they were like $17 or something. Yeah, her dress was, after all the discounts and stuff, her dress was $18 and the shirt was $15. And then she likes these kind of little shirts that they have there. So I like this color. So I picked her up one. These were only like $5. And then I picked up her another one. These look kind of big for her because she is small for her age. These are shirts, not dresses. So she's short for her age, but that'll be fine. She'll probably be able to wear them for at least a year. <laughs> um, and then for Noah, along with his shirt, I also got him this, these joggers for him to take pictures in. So that'll be his outfit, the denim with the joggers. And then for, I guess the rest is for myself from Gap. Uh, they had these camis for $5. So I, I'm always on the hunt for like the best cami because I like to wear camis under my shirts for work generally. Um, so I like the shade on this one. So I picked it up to try one out. And if I like them, then I'll probably go back and get some more colors, but you can't try anything on. So um, like I said, I don't live that far from the Gap. So once I try it on, if I like it, I'll go back and get some more. Um, but then I also picked up this tank top. Sometimes I do tank tops under my shirts too. And I really like the color. It's more of a, I mean, it's not my skin tone, but I feel like with this color, I can wear it underneath light shirts and it'll look like my skin tone. And then um, I need some more pajama pants. So I picked these up. I hope they fit, but they are flannel, but they're very lightweight flannel. Like I don't really buy flannel pants because honestly I get too hot when I sleep and I mean, it's not that cold. <laughs> so these are really thin. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see through them. So I was looking for some poplin pants. Um, I don't know if y'all know what poplin is. I'm sure you probably do. It's that thin material you often see in pajama pants. I was looking for some of those. Uh, but the ones they had that I liked, they didn't have them in my size. So I picked up these and I like that they have the jogger bottom, like the fitted bottom, because I found that a lot of pajama pants are too long for me because I'm not that tall. And I have tripped 
walking up and down my stairs on my pajama pants and that is a hazard. So, <laughs> and I'm just, I know I'm not gonna go get them hemmed. So I hope these fit well. And then to go with that, I bought this little t-shirt. It's not necessarily a pajama shirt. I think it's just a regular shirt, but it felt really soft. Uh, but it just says dare to dream. So I bought that kind of oversized. And then at last minute, I picked up this sweater for my husband. I don't know if he's gonna like it, but it was on a really good sale and I like the color. I feel like his skin tone is pretty much the same as mine. And I feel like these colors look nice on our skin tone. So um, I'll probably have him try this on tonight and see if he likes it. If not, I will take it back. And that was like, I forgot to tell y'all the prices. This was like $16. Pajama pants were like $12 or something like that. So that's it from the Gap. And then for shoes, Noah has been going out of his shoes, so I've been saying I need to go find him some. So while I was out there, I went ahead and looked. So for shoes, Converse was having a sale. They had buy one, get one, 75% off. So I found him these shoes, which I thought were super cute. He can use for the pictures. And he doesn't have to worry about tying these. Usually I do buy him shoes with shoestrings that you tie, but he doesn't know how to tie his shoes yet. So he can easily put these on and off by himself. So, um, yeah, I thought these were cute. So that's those, and I'm pretty sure he can wear these. I'm pretty sure he's gonna wear these for picture day. And then I went ahead and bought a pair for Chloe, uh, which she can wear for picture day as well. But these are like <laughs> gold glitter converse. And I like that this is not like exposed glitter. It is glitter that's underneath like a coating. So when you feel it, it just feels kind of like plastic or something. But it's not, I mean, it's a regular shoe. So it still feels like it'll be comfortable for her, but the glitter is not like sticking everywhere. So so I guess it's like plastic on the outside and then like canvas on the inside. So it still looks like it'll be comfortable. So hopefully those fit her. Converse always, I don't know, this shoe looks so big to me, but he is growing out of all his shoes. And right now he's currently in a size 12. And so this is a 13, but I swear it looks so huge like how is my child's foot this big and then I also went by Nike because like I said Noah actually needs some shoes he's growing out of his they were having a really good sale but I didn't stay out there that long because it was kind of crowded but I did find him one pair of shoes but because the sale was so good I may go back this weekend because the sale will be running all weekend so I may go back one day this weekend but I found these shoes for him and they are Jordan's Max Aura, I don't know. But I thought they were cute. And I feel like he'll be able to wear them with a lot. So he can wear them with black, he can wear them with blue. Um, he can wear them with red. <laughs> so I thought these were cute. And they were on clearance for $39.97, but then they had 20% off their clearance. And if you're a Nike Plus member, you get an extra 30% off everything in the store. So the price came up to be after the discounts, they were only $22.38, which I think is an awesome price for a pair of shoes. And then I saw this jacket and I just thought it was too cute to pass up. So he had this little red hoodie for forever, like a regular red hoodie. And um, this, this year he needed another jacket. I bought him a gray one, a gray hoodie, but I thought this would be nice for when it gets just a slight bit colder because it's a little bit thicker. And I just love red on him. It goes really well with his skin tone. It says Nike on there, but other than that, it's kind of like a Sherpa hoodie. Super cute. And this, after all the discounts and everything, came out to be $10.49. Now that is excellent. So at Nike, buying a pair of shoes and a jacket my total after taxes was 35 17 like i've never spent that little amount in nike usually a pair of kids shoes at nike is more than 35 dollars. so yeah super excited about those finds so that's everything i got at the outlet mall i did have a package that was delivered while i was gone and i'm super excited for it so i figured i might as well open it on camera for with you all um, and the company I ordered these from is called Gifts For You Now. So, little backstory. We, I ordered some of those Pottery Barn um, 
personalized stockings a while ago. It was after we, it was when we had Noah, but Chloe wasn't around yet. So I have four stockings because at the time we had a dog as well. He's passed away by now. But um, anyway, long story short, <laughs> Chloe doesn't have one of those stockings. And every year I say, I'm going to get some after Christmas, get her one after Christmas so she can have a matching one. But then by the time I look, it's like the one that I want is sold out. And I looked, I looked like a couple weeks ago and the regular price of those stockings is $40. And I'm like, I can't do it. For one, $40 for one stocking. Now, apparently when I bought these stockings before, I must've had a lot more free money. So um, yeah, I'm not paying $40 for one. So I'm going to try after Christmas to get her another one of those again this year. If I can get it for like 20, 25, I'm done. I'm good with that. But $40, I just feel like it's too much. So <laughs> saying all that, I found a company online and ordered personalized stockings from them. And for all four, I, I just ordered a whole new set. So for all four of them, I paid after shipping and everything, I think it was like $50 for all four stockings. So I feel like that was a way better deal. So let's see how they look. So these are just like a plain ivory color and they're cute. So they have these little bells. They had a bunch of designs to choose from, but this is the one I chose. And this one is for my husband. It just says daddy on there. And I think these are cute. Oops, not over my cups. So I think these are cute. They're a good size. I don't think they feel like as thick and luxurious as the Pottery Barn ones, but I mean, this is like a quarter of the price. So I didn't really expect them to be the same, um, but I actually really like these. And I, I feel like the, the Jingle Bells are a little bit more festive. So this will be a nice switch up for me this year. Plus I like the fact that I can have two sets of stockings now. So just switch it up. So all of them are the same. But I'm just going to look at them to make sure, like, names are spelled right and everything. Yeah, so this one says Mommy. This one says Chloe. Oh, no, it's missing a bell. All right, I guess I'm going to have to call them about this one. This one is missing a bell. So, clearly, the quality is not the same as Pottery Barn. <laughs> and the bell's not even in the package. Like, it fell off in transit. It's just not on there and then um that was my concern when i saw they had bells i knew one would eventually fall off but and then the last one is noah's so it says noah yeah so i'm gonna have to call them about chloe's but other than that the rest of them look good um so yeah So that's it from a little haul. Um, I'm just getting ready to wash some clothes and stuff. I'm not sure if I'll be back on today, but if not, then I will probably see y'all at some point tomorrow.